Magandang umaga, tunay ngang kay buti ng Diyos dahil binigyan niyang muli tayo ng panibagong araw upang papulihan siya sa ating gagawin. Babasahin ko po ang ating Bible text mula sa Psalm 78 verses 1 to 4 and 12 to 16. My people, hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden things, things from of old, things we have heard and known, things our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, His powers and the wonders He has done. He did miracles in the sight of their ancestors, in the land of Egypt, in the region of Zoan. He divided the sea and led them through. He made the waters stand up like a wall. He guided them with a cloud by day and with the light of fire all night. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them waters as abundant as the seas. He brought streams out of a rocky crag and made water flow down like rivers. Let us all pray for Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning, Lord God. Thank you for giving us this day to hear your words. May you guide your um, disciples, Lord God, as I deliver your words to your people, Lord. Ikaw na wapat ang patuloy namin mapapurihan, Panginoon. Ang aming samot na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Magandang umaga pong muli. This is a great privilege for me to lead a devotion for God's people, and I entitled this devotion, Sharing Your Life Message. All of us are living testimony on how great God works for His people. Many of us experience different challenges in life. Some of us witness miracles God has done, and many more. In our scripture for today, the psalmist invites us to listen to what he is going to say. Just like him, God has given you a life to share. Remember when Apostle Paul said, We speak truth before God as messengers of God. Minsan nakala natin, hindi tayo worth it mag-share. Na kung ikukumpara sa ibang testimony, kakaramput lang o parang natural lang ang naranasan mo. Na parang walang namamangha sa naranasan mo. But then, hindi lang natin napapansin 
na sa pamamagitan nun, pinapahina ng kalaban ng ating loob para hindi natin ma-share ang mga testimonies natin sa iba. Bilang isang mananampalataya, marami ka ng karanasang na ibabahagi sa iba. Mga karanasang makakapag-inspire sa ibang tao upang maniwala sila o madala sila sa tahanan ng Diyos. Our last week readings ay tungkol sa pag-alis ng mga Israelita sa Egypto. Ang pagkahati ng pulang dagat, lahat ito ay mga karanasan ng mga Israelita na ibinahagi nila sa atin. Mga bagay na nag inspire din sa atin ngayon, even though matagal na yung mga pangyayaring iyon. They told the stories on how God guided them, provided their needs and such. Tunay na mabuti ang Diyos sa ating lahat. Kaya bakit hindi natin ito gamitin to inspire others? I remember this past few days habang nagre-reflect ako sa word ni Lord from our scriptures. I heard so many testimonies from different great people here in Haris. And sobra akong nabilib sa kanila. Dahil sa posisyong mayroon sila, mayroon din pala silang kahingaan. May mga masasakit din pala silang pinagdaanan. At sa mga pagsubok ngayon, mayroon silang sinasundalan. And that is our Almighty Father who never forsakes us but always provides our, for our needs. In this scripture, the psalmist also shares his story. The story that he heard from his ancestors. The story that states how good God is. He also inspires us today inspires us that we can also share our life stories to other people. I remember a quote that says, We learn in our own experiences, but we also learn from others' experiences too. I want to share you three points in this devotion. Number one is, listen. Let us listen to the words of God. Above all else, si Lord ang tunay nating inspirasyon. Ang mga taong ginamit niya noon ay siyang nagiging tulay upang maihatid sa atin ang mga nais sabihin sa atin ng Diyos. Before starting to share our thirst testimonies, let us listen first to God. If we are afraid, God will give us strength. Makinig muna tayo. Tayo muna yung mai-inspired. We need to be inspired first by God's words so that in all things we will do, all words we will say, all glory will be to God. Number two po, open. Open our hearts, mouths, and eyes. Hearts to love the things we had, the challenges we conquer, the life we had. Mouths to share the, the words or to share what we've been through with the help of our God. And eyes to see how our stories can change other lives. When our atin our room says, we are the living testimonies, na-realize ko na, oo nga, the Bible had many testimonies. It can be the story of Noah, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and such. And all of those are their life stories. Mga karanasan nila na ibinahagi nila sa atin ngayon, at sa mga susunod pang generasyon. Now we are open books. Our life is full of stories to share to the nation, to the people of God. And number three, inspire. Through opening our lives as living testimonies, let us inspire more people. Sabi nga sa kanta ng mga UMY at LASCI, Huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang matakot. If you're thinking na hindi ka nakaka-inspire ng tao because you're a sinner or you're not perfect, then let me remind you that no one is perfect. All of us are sinners. Even the people in the Bible had their own weaknesses. Kahit sila ay nagkasala din. So don't belittle yourself. Stand up and make and take many lives in the kingdom of God. Inspire them through your life story, through your testimony. Before I end, I remember a hymn that says, 
We've a story to tell to the nation that shall turn their hearts to the right. A story of truth and mercy, a story of peace and light, a story of peace and light. Ulitin ko po, listen, open, and inspire. Let us all pray. Hallelujah, Father, we continue to glorify your name. Lord, salamat sa panibagong salita mo na ibinahagi mo sa amin. Salamat sa pag-inspire sa amin ng mga dati mong alagad, Panginoon, mga dati mong disciples, at alam namin kung ano yung mga pinagdaanan nila, Panginoon. Alam namin kung gaano ka kabuti sa buhay nila noon pa man. Lord, gamitin mo kaming instrumento, Panginoon, upang patuloy ka namin mapapurihan, upang ma-share namin ng iyong mga salita sa iba, iba pang tao. Lord, nawa, ma-share namin ng iba't iba namin karanasan ng iyong kabutihan sa aming mga buhay. Ma-share namin ito upang ma-inspire namin ng iba, Panginoon. At nawa, Lord, madala namin sila sa iyong tahanan. At mag maging instrumento kami upang mabago sila, Panginoon. Lord, Gabayan mo kami, bigyan mo kami ng lakas ng loob, Panginoon, upang ma-share ang aming mga life stories, Lord God. Lord, we are the open Bible, Lord God. We all have our different stories that we can share to other people. Give us strength and wisdom, Lord. Inspire us more, Lord God, for us to inspire others. May we continue to glorify your name in all our words and deeds, Lord. This is all our pay in the mighty name of Jesus. 